you ever wish you could have a life do-over similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. I hope you enjoyed the Life of Service interview episodes over the last two weeks and that you gained insight and inspiration on how you can live a life of service. Today I am answering your questions. Thank you, by the way, for every comment you post and every question you send in. I really enjoy finding out what listeners want to know, what interests you topically, and what you want me to talk about. Please continue to comment, suggest, and ask questions. And I'll make you a promise, if you keep sending me your questions, I will continue doing Q&A episodes like today's. Please know that without your express permission, I'll never reveal any identifying information. Only your question or your comment will be featured on the podcast. So, you know, you can really feel free to ask me anything within reason, of course. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. I should first tell you that the voices you will hear today asking the questions that you sent in are those of my three children. I solicited their help mainly because my youngest guy, who is eight years old, kept asking if he could be on the podcast. So I wanted to give him an opportunity to do so. And today is his moment to shine. So let's go. First question. Does wisdom a gift? The short answer is yes. There's a scripture that says, to one person, the spirit gives the ability to give wise advice. To another, the same spirit gives a message of special knowledge. So wisdom is a gift that comes from the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit gives you the ability to use that gift, to use the gift of wisdom. Now, my long answer is wisdom is not just a gift expression of the Holy Spirit. It is also a way of life. It's not just something that we can use or operate in, in a given moment or setting. The Bible says fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and that the earth was founded on wisdom. And the Bible says that people perish due to a lack of knowledge, but wisdom is the principal thing. So we need both knowledge and wisdom to live this life, to live a godly life, because knowledge without applied wisdom is like information in a vacuum. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't accomplish anything. And so wisdom tells you how to use the information that you have. We learned in school to answer those questions, who, what, when, where, why, and how. And wisdom helps you answer those questions with the knowledge that you have gained. Simply put, wisdom is the proper application of knowledge. And if you're a Christian, wisdom is the godly application of knowledge, meaning that God directs how and when and where you use the knowledge that you have gained. The thing about wisdom is everyone can have it. Everyone can use it. The Bible tells us to ask for wisdom if we're lacking it, and God will give it to you. You don't have to go aimlessly through life wondering what to do or how to do it or when to do something. God says, ask for wisdom, ask for the proper application of knowledge, and it's yours for the asking. That's all I have on that one. So let's move on to question number two. Does heaven exist? If so, do we have a promise of going there? Yes, heaven really does exist. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a fantasy. It's not a nice story. It's not a figment of our imagination. It's a real place where you have the privilege of going and of living eternally with God once you leave this earth. But there are some admission requirements. Heaven is ultimately a reward for followers of Jesus Christ. And we do have a promise of going there, but the access is Jesus Christ. You don't get to go there because you want to, or you think it's a good idea, or consider yourself to be a good person or a nice person. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. So your access is not based on who you are. It's not based on anything you have done. It is based solely on what Jesus Christ did for you and your acceptance of that. You have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You receive the soul salvation that he offers to all of us. That's the Savior part. You give him control of your life. That's the Lord part. The scripture says salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. It also says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart 
that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The Bible says, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So when you make this confession and you're agreeing with who Jesus Christ is, the Bible says he who comes to God must believe that he is and that it's impossible to please him without faith. So you have to believe that he's the son of God who was without sin and therefore able to be a perfect sacrifice for your sin, that he took the punishment for all of our sins and through him and what he did for us, we have access to eternal life. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So once that confession is made with your understanding of who Jesus is, you need to read the Bible, you need to pray, you need to learn the voice of God so you can live the way he wants you to live. You can obey his instructions, you can learn God's ways because God's ways are holy. And the Bible says, Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. You know, everybody will continue on somewhere once they leave planet Earth. You'll spend eternity or the afterlife, some call it, somewhere. And through Jesus Christ and his teachings, heaven can be your home after you leave Earth. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening to today's episode. And remember, if you have any questions you want me to answer on future Q&A episodes, please comment on any of the platforms you're listening from. You can message me via the Try Again with Monique Facebook page, or you can leave a voice message at speakpipe.com slash try again. Speakpipe.com slash try again. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.